A bunch of you guys have been asking me to do a video debunking the flat earth because I've been doing debunking videos on this channel and there's a lot that I could say about the flat earth and I don't think what I'm going to do is one single debunking video dealing with all of the arguments from the flat earth but I might make a bunch of short videos interacting with certain problems in the arguments for the flat earth. This idea of a flat earth theory has really grown within the last year or so. We had the recent first Flat Earth Convention, and there is no end to the uploads on YouTube of people trying to defend the fact that the Earth is somehow flat. Now, a lot of the debunking videos that are out there really haven't actually listened to the arguments um, of the Flat Earthers, which I think is too bad, because if you're going to debunk them, at least listen to what they have to say. That's not to say that what they have to say isn't crazy, but let's at least try to look into the arguments they're trying to make and respond to the arguments that are being made. So I'm going to do that in a series of short videos interacting with different flat earth arguments just one at a time. Um, so if you run into flat earth videos and you have a flat earth believer that's making an argument, you can send them one of these. But I want to start with what I think is maybe the most major problem for the flat earth. And this isn't a problem even of science or astronomy. This is just a problem of the practical reality that such a conspiracy is basically impossible for someone to actually uphold. Uh, because of the amount of people that would have to be involved in this flat earth conspiracy. So here's the problem. With this idea that the Earth is flat, right? scientists, NASA, and all of the other companies that are like NASA across the world all have knowledge that the Earth actually is flat. And for whatever reason, they are trying as hard as they possibly can, using whatever possible resources they can, to hide the fact that the Earth is flat. One of the problems is that there is really no obvious unified idea of why they're doing this in the first place. And as I've listened to Flat Earth people, I've heard very different explanations given as to why this is so important that they're trying to hide all of these things um, from us. And, and I've never really been clear as to a strong motivation. And oftentimes this goes along with other conspiracy theories about the Illuminati and all sorts of other things. And nobody seems to be totally agreed on exactly why these things are being um, hidden from from us, but it is the generally agreed upon idea through all of them that for whatever reason, they are hidden from us. So this conspiracy would be basically impossible. And this is the problem with a lot of conspiracy theories is that they assume that something so secretive can happen that is so big without any of those secrets ever spilling over uh, to the general public, at least in not any serious way. And I think that's seriously hard to uphold, especially in light of all of the leaks that have happened over minor things in government. Uh, and any major corporation or business that has tried to uh, hide some kind of secret, those things get found out. And people are not quite as clever, and especially government is not quite as clever or competent as conspiracy theorists seem to think that they are. So let's just look at some of the bare numbers and talk about all of the people that would have to be in on this conspiracy for this whole thing to in fact be true. Now, according to the NASA website, there are about 18,000 people that work for the corporation that work with NASA. And these are only those who are actually hired by NASA. There are several others who work for them as well as contractors. And there are separate private companies that NASA works with as well on various aspects of what they do. So 18,000 people is a very large number of individuals. And alongside of that are thousands of extra individuals who do other work with NASA as well. So that's NASA. So let's estimate that maybe only 2,000 people are privately contracted. I'm sure it's more than that. And so our number is at, at this point, about 20 thousand and we're giving a very low number there. Now along with that, part of the conspiracy of flat earth theorists, and there are many different ones so they have different ideas of this, but generally it's taught that there are no real satellites orbiting the atmosphere of the earth at all. Uh, because supposedly if there were satellites we'd be seeing them all the time in the night sky, airplanes would crash into them, and so there are wires under the ground doing the work that we often associate with satellite technology. So 
There are supposedly at this moment about 2,271 satellites currently orbiting the Earth. And behind each of those satellites is a creative team and oftentimes a company that has placed that satellite into the atmosphere for whatever reason. And so along with those 2,000 people, we, can, we also have to add all of the people that were at work in building and keeping track of those satellites as well as the other jobs there. So even if you only have an average of just over two people working on every satellite, and there would be more than that, then you have an extra 5,000 people added to that number. Now, so far, we've covered largely the United States and then those who are involved in satellites. So let's think beyond just NASA. Well, NASA, NASA might be the biggest space agency in the world. It is far from the only one. There are 71 separate countries that have space programs run by their governments. And of those 71 countries, there are about six of them that are rather large, that actually are actively uh, flying objects into space and have the kinds of technology to actually do that sort of research. And the countries included in that are India, the European Space Agency, the China National Space Administration, the Jap Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, which is NASA, and the Russian Federal Space Agency. That is six of them that have been involved in the kinds of technology that are actually actively being worked out at this time. And notice some of these have very large populations as well, uh, including the European space program, which is obviously more than just one single nation. Now, as you look at each of these space agencies, they also have a large number of individuals working for them. The European Space Agency, for example, says that there are over 2,000 people. And again, that does not include the other private contractors and organizations that are involved in the work that they do as well. And the Chinese space program is a bigger space program, and there are estimated to be over 100,000 individuals working for that space program. And so if we add up all of these space programs together from all of these different countries, if we add up the numbers of everyone who is involved in making and taking care of satellites that would have to be in the know if these things were indeed faked, the numbers would be astronomical. At this point, it's not even really possible to add up all of those numbers because we don't know exactly how many individuals work for each of those agencies or how many private organizations exactly there are that are working on satellites and how many people work at each of those companies. Somebody, I'm sure, could do the math and try to spend the time researching these things to figure out exactly how many people there are. But the point is this. The number is astronomical. And it is true, granted, that certain people at NASA or at these other organizations would not have to be in the know on everything. So, for example, maybe you are, you know, just, you know, an IT person at NASA who's just fixing up the computers if they break, or you're a secretary, or maybe you're the janitor there. And we have to grant that many of the positions in each of these organizations would not have to be people who are actually in the know in terms of the details of these things. But that still leaves us with thousands of and thousands of individuals who are perpetrating this fraud and have been doing so for many, many decades. It is simply impossible for these things to have been done in any secretive and organized way without any leaks whatsoever coming out until the last few years when all of a sudden everyone just discovered on YouTube that the Earth was flat. And we haven't even begun to discuss the other random companies that apparently are in on these things. I've heard some flat earthers say, for example, that GoPro cameras have a fisheye lens so that they can uh, trick people into thinking that the earth is round. And so if you add up all of these, as well as the private space agency, SpaceX and others, it's impossible. And that's really the point of this. And so if you're going to argue that the Earth is flat, you have to come up with some motive that is a little better than the ones that are out there. Why are they so insistent on making the Earth seem round when it is not? Why is it so important? Why have governments across the world spent billions of dollars on space technology that does not even exist? And how in the world can such a secret that's this big possibly be hidden for so long? And I think when you think about these things, it shows that the case is really, really hard to make and that most likely the Earth is not flat.
but maybe people have been telling the truth the whole time. Anyway, if you like this video, like and subscribe. If you want to see more on this particular topic or other topics, let me know. We'll see you next time.